Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Project Product. Today, the issue that has arised is I've sprung a leak in our whole home humidifier. This is an April Air Model 600. It looks like the pad inside has never been changed. I have no idea what the condition of the water panel is, uh, nor have I known very much about this unit prior, but I've done some extensive research and I feel very confident in my ability to handle this task and resolve the leaking issue without calling a qualified professional. If you do not feel that way, I highly suggest that you call a professional service technician. Let's dive into it. That looks good. All right, so here's the whole home humidifier. The leak started coming through the bottom right here is why I have a bucket down here. The water line here that's running into the solenoid is looping up and around. It's going over to my water heater. So this is where it goes into the main water line, which it has a valve here that you can open up. Twisted this all the way to the right to shut off the water source going to the humidifier. What I've done so far is I went upstairs where the thermostat is, I turned the furnace off. This is the April Air humidifier control panel. I have it set to off because we are going to be performing some maintenance here. So make sure that's off, your thermostat's off, everything's off. Let's pop this shell off here. This is well overdue and probably the cause of the leak. Would you say, would you guess so? I would guess so. This is where the water goes in and then it distributes through the, the top here. It's probably all full of hard, like tonsil stones building up. And we're going to pull this whole thing out, clean it thoroughly, decide if we need to replace anything further than just the pad. Oh yeah, not cool. So you can just pull the water panel right off the top. Careful there, there's that. That doesn't look good, but we're gonna I'm gonna clean this all up really nice. And we're gonna swap this pad out. And then I'm gonna clean this frame out because I saw another video where they recommend cleaning the whole frame out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. And just turn it upside down, slide it out. It's a pretty nasty pad. It's not a good one. And then you got a lot of built up hempulitis in here. We're gonna clean all that out. So picture me up at the utility sink or whatever sink you got. like vinegar or a lime based thing is what I read but I don't know I'm probably just gonna I'm just gonna go to town on it and do it my way you do it your way I'm not gonna tell you how to clean something you just clean it okay I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm done we're gonna put the new pad in we're gonna reinstall this and since it's winter I'm gonna open up this valve here looks like it's broken that's wonderful okay, so I got this all nice and cleaned up and ready to go I'm going to scrape all this buildup out of here where the excess water drains out. First, I'm going to vacuum it up a little bit. That actually took care of all that buildup here, so I'm just going to wipe it out with a paper towel really good. Looks like it's nice and open. You're going to take your evaporated pad. Here's the new one. It's marked at the top with an orange color in the two pack of them that I got. It says in the instructions that the color side stays up. We're going to take our tray, our frame, whatever you call it. We better just better get the vocab correct. All right, we're calling it the distribution tray. Drain side down, the side where your water panel goes in up, color side of your new evaporator pad up. You're just going to slide that into place just like that. Boop. Now we're going to take our water panel tray that I've scraped all the built up impulitis as I've been calling it. You're gonna take your water panel tray. There you go, that slides in on both sides just like that. Clips right into place. Put the bottom in first, then push the top forward. Once you've got it into place, take your water supply line here. Go ahead and shove it through that hole. There we go. You don't want this thing falling like this. There's two little clips in the back of, of the box that you have to make sure your water panel clips into. You heard it. There it is. Now it's in place. Nothing left to do, I think, but pop the case on and fire it up. New screw, hempy summer winter handle, fresh filter, distribution tray, water panel distributor, all cleaned out. Things are looking good. I guarantee you we have resolved the leak. 
in the beginning of the video, you remember up here is my water shut off for the line that runs to the humidifier. I'm going to go ahead and open that back up. So we're at the humidifier control panel. I'm going to turn that back up to about just under the 35% mark. It's pretty cold outside right now. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to turn the thermostat back on. So there you have it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and it helps your leak issue if you had one. Please consider subscribing, hitting the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss any more fun stuff coming up because when stuff happens to me and it potentially happens to you, you can come to this channel because I'm usually doing these tutorials on things that come up when you own a home and you don't know what to do and you do a bunch of YouTubing. So I YouTube and then I make videos and try to Thank you very much. Have a good day.